plant shopping um, it's a garden center near us uh, they're called flower land comparing to what they would have had previously to the present condition the stock is less but they still had a good variety of stuff so i'll just show you what i brought so i have two hanging baskets at home like this 12 cm these are from tesco so i wanted uh, plants for these baskets so my aim was to have one basket which is green and the other basket which is flowers because i'm going to put them on my north facing wall in the garden and one on an east uh, west facing wall so there's not a lot of sun in both the locations so my aim was to get one basket which is green so they don't need a lot of sun so i've got for this basket for the green basket i have got helichrysum so this is a trailing variety a mat variety so it should trail that way or mat the area and i got two variegated ivy i love ivy in baskets i don't love them in the ground because they are very um, invasive so i got two types of variegated ivy and one ditch arc silver fall this is a trailing a trailing variety it's already trailing you can see so these four would go in one of the 12 cm ones and then i've got another one which is flowering variety so the general flower scheme is white and yellow because my brick wall is red i plan to keep plan uh, to have white and yellow color so this is there are two types of i um, geranium so these are trailing geranium so the main reason i chose geranium and begonia is that if i protect the basket in the winter from cold or even if i propagate them they'll come back next year so this is two white trailing ivy and then there are two begonias which is also white and trailing and there is a yellow one which is also trailing so there's five plants small ones for the other basket they'll be planting them today so this one is already opening up and i have to hang them up then i got my next bit was i wanted a couple of vegetables for the greenhouse for this greenhouse because all what you see right now will go to the allotment so i wanted to try out uh, aubergines cucumbers couple of peppers and tomatoes so i went with uh, this as a list i didn't have any specific varieties in my mind so i got two cucumbers F1 cucumbers two of them so i'll be repotting them into bigger pots with support so the aim is to get them to climb through these um mesh so that they can be supported through the mesh so i'll keep cucumbers on one side with the mesh on so that they can climb through it and then i've got two black beauty aubergines plus I've got two peppers, bell boy and new age, so the red one and green one and an heritage tomato. So my other aim was to get roma tomatoes and a couple of other variety of tomatoes but I didn't get much from the garden center so I might go again to a different garden center to get a bigger one uh to get more types of um tomatoes. So the aim is to fill the whole greenhouse with um, heat loving plants i also found sweet corn it's quite few of them in here so i'll in the plant these among my pumpkin bed so that uh, it's companion planting so the corn will take up the height and uh, and the pumpkin will take up the ground space 
it's real this is what i brought yesterday i still need to go again to get some more different types of tomato i did find black tomato chocolate colored tomato uh, but i didn't fancy those i i wanted a, cer- a certain type of big beef tomato so i didn't find those so i might go to a different garden center so let's plant uh, the baskets and hang them next first make sure that your basket has enough drainage so that the water doesn't sit in it since this basket is new it has got a plastic covering i'm just going to cut some holes into it you could actually use uh, maybe a choir based um, liner or something this is compost i'm going to mix it with some water retaining gel so these are crystals which swell up when we water and it will hold on to the water and releases it slowly the gel pack comes with a scoop so we can measure up how much we need it's i think it is 1 teaspoon yeah it's 1 teaspoon and uh, according to the instruction for a 10 to 12 cent inch pot or a basket one scoop is more than enough so my basket is 12 inch so we will add one scoop of crystal to all of the basket uh, all of the compost that we are going to add mix it well so that there is an equal distribution of it and keeping a small well, deep vessel so that it holds the basket from not tipping around just mix make make sure that the crystals are separate uh, distributed when you are going to plant your plants first play around by keeping the pots in the basket and have a look at how it will look and only if you're happy then start planting it so i have filled the basket halfway with compost and then i'm going to have a look at how it looks so so far my the six plants i brought are big for a 12 inch pot so i'm going to keep i may be tr- i may try to keep only begonias in the basket I'm happy with the arrangement with the four begonias because you have to give enough room for it to grow as well. So I'm going to start and pot pot them up. So place them in such a way that the top of the plant doesn't protrude beyond the height of the basket. So the halfway point of the compost is correct. And I'm also going to face the less growing side out outward so that they have a chance to grow better. looks like uh, this these begonias have some slow re- release feed in the compost even then i would suggest that we uh, to add some slow release some form of slow release fertilizer or give a liquid fertilizer once in a while when you're filling the basket with compost make sure that you press the plant so that it is it's it's sitting firmly in the basket and also to to check for uh, some air pocket so that you can fill it with in a uh, compost i'm adding this slow release fertilizer this is grow more fertilizer and then mix it up well and then move the plant foliage around to check for pockets where there are no compost let's plant the next basket in the same way as we did for the previous basket i have i have the pelagoriums from the previous basket So I'm going to try and see if I can fit it into this basket and whether it will look nice.
after a little play around i'm happy with this arrangement i've used two uh, pelagorins i have one ivy left over so i might use it in the other hanging basket so in this one there is a licorice plant the ditch hawk and one ivy so let's spot it up When you're potting up the plant, gently tease the pot, uh, plant out of the pot. So if it is not coming out because it's matted, uh, slowly break its root and then pull it. Uh, uh, let the plant fall into your hand. The ivy is well rooted and it came out of the pot quite easily. The silver fall is quite root bound and so I'm going to gently tease it so that uh, the roots have a chance to spread elsewhere rather than go round and round. Make sure you check between the foliage of all the plants to see if there are any pockets of uh, area where see here as it happens there is a pocket there so i have to fill it up with compost and make sure the plants are sitting well tight water them well before you hang i ended up hanging them on either side of my kitchen window and i'm quite happy with it <laughs> 